All right, good day everyone. So today we're gonna feature something different here at The Hobbyist. And right in front of us is the LEGO Ideas International Space Station. But before we begin, I'd like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell to get the latest updates from The Hobbyist. So yeah, let's get right into it. So again, this is the LEGO Ideas International Space Station. And you should be seeing our speed build right around here. Uh, but yeah, so if you know me, and if you've been so following the, if you've been following the channel, uh, you've probably seen some of our astro photographs, some of our pictures of the moon or the other planets. And one of the hardest targets to capture, at least in my opinion, was the International Space Station. So, and and that's because this thing moves really fast. So it revolves around the earth 16 times a day so you can imagine how fast it is there was this one time we knew it it was gonna fly by over manila and so we were waiting for it and it moved really fast and probably because the the scene wasn't really that good a uh, few seconds it was gone so we weren't able to capture it i was able to see it but before i, I was able to point the the camera up in the sky it was gone anyway uh hopefully so so hopefully this year we'll be able to capture it but for the meantime we're gonna sell with one of these so this is the best video or best picture i could get of the space station <laughs> so yeah so again this is the lego ideas international space station it's 864 pieces and for the avid average lego fan it's not really a lot so it's it's a relaxing build you don't have to jumble with a lot of small pieces you, you could already appreciate what you're building uh, right on the get-go and what's nice about well i haven't really built uh, lego sets for for a few years now so uh, what I like about the Lego sets that they're that are coming out, they they have these uh, really detailed instructions, uh, what what bag to open, what what you're gonna be building out of that bag, so you don't have to open all of the all of the bags all at the same time, which is really cool. So that's what I suggest if you're going to buy and you're gonna build this set, don't open all of the plastic bags at the same time and put all of the Lego pieces in the middle. Open them one at a time uh, and follow the numbers. So uh, open number bag number one first. You're probably, if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna be building the the small spacecrafts first, and then you're gonna build the stand, and then you're gonna build the base or the the body of the space station, and then you're gonna be building the modules, and then lastly you're gonna be building these uh, solar panels. So yeah now in terms of accuracy i found a video online and i'm gonna put a link on the description on that video if you're interested uh there was this guy who's reviewing this set and he showed the set to a to a nasa personnel that works on the actual space station and she commented that uh looking at the high resolution pictures of this set she could identify each of the individual modules on the actual space station so that gives you some level of confidence that you're getting a fairly accurate representation of the international space station right here and what's nice about what lego did was you could actually you know um tune this and rearrange these modules these individual modules Depending on what uh, what representation of the space station you'd like to capture, so this uh, configuration is currently based on the 2021 or the latest configuration of the International Space Station, and but you could rearrange it, you could rearrange all of the modules, which is nice. It also comes with a few of the spacecrafts that interact with the space station like like the space shuttle so they have a space shuttle 
right here that you could connect so you could use one of these Lego pieces right here you then just put it there and then all you need to do is just connect it to the docking module right there I hope I got that name right and that's what it looks like so now you you have the uh, spatial connected to the International Space Station and then other than that it also comes with yeah they also have like the Soyuz module the Russian Soyuz module up here another Soyuz module there and then the recently developed uh, SpaceX module this is this piece or this module is actually gonna be used by NASA on, on their future flights going uh, going to the space station so <clears throat> that's kind of exciting to see all of those details here and then you know a, there's a lot of articulation also on this set so the whole body the, the, the whole the, yeah you see here the Canada arm very much articulated and then the, the the solar panels they also move all the way around then this one's too and then right here on the back let me turn this thing around so right here on the back you also have a ton of detail like these heat shields if I'm not mistaken so they also move around these ones too so there's a lot of things that you could play with uh, on the station. So these individual satellites also, they could be, you could move them around. So yeah, there's a lot of details here that you could uh, play with. And one of the features that I've always loved about this set is the copula module. So the copula module, I'm just going to try and zoom it in so that you could see it's this module it's this observation deck right here and this is actually one of the things that kind of uh, <clears throat> made me decide to get this this set because I've always been fascinated by this small observation deck this is actually the observation deck that allows us to see what to see some high resolution images of earth so all of those uh, cool pictures or videos that you could see of Earth are being taken from this observation deck right here. So, yeah, that's a cool feature and LEGO didn't miss that detail. So, yeah, it was a no-brainer. I told myself, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to get the, the space station now. Anyway... So that's the that's what it looks like. All the features that come with it. That's what the space station looks like. So some of the flaws that I saw on the space station is uh, uh, me my my biggest gripe about this set is the stand. So uh what the stand of the space station is basically this piece right here it's the black piece that you could see here and the problem with this stand is it holds the space station on these four pegs so two on this side and then there's two on the other side right there so you could imagine this big big piece right here sorry <laughs> that, that fell off so this big piece right here is being held up by only four pegs so you can just imagine you know the chances of this falling off is really high <laughs> if you ask me it's really high so yeah for me I feel like they could have done a better job on on making sure that it's on a more sturdier more secure base for me I, I think the way I would do this is I'd probably have a technic piece that 
locks this thing into place on both sides so that whenever you're you're docking it on the stand it's not gonna go anywhere unless unless the whole thing including the stand falls off so for me that's the biggest issue that i have on this set other than that everything you see here is really awesome all of the details are very accurate a lot of things you could play with again and the price you couldn't really go wrong with 60 bucks i mean you're getting like a few a few a few spacecrafts to go with the whole station so it's really an awesome piece to have on any on any person's collection and for me i'd buy it in a heartbeat so it's a no-brainer yeah so if you're a fan of uh, of lego if you love building lego uh, pieces or lego um, sets and you're a, you're a space fan like me i would suggest you get this okay so before we end this video we're gonna do a quick montage of the iss and then we're gonna do the shout outs for today's video so if you want to make it on the next roll call all you need to do is drop us a comment down below show us some love and yeah so i guess that's it for me folks uh enjoy the rest of the video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys soon peace